Howdy folks! Welcome to year 40 of Human Resource Machine and my ridiculous solution for this one. Um, this is 63, that's not 63 the program length, that's 63 the execution speed. Uh, the goal was 399, so I kind of blew that one out of the water. Uh, it was, it was, it's kind of funny to watch it run. Um, anyway, real quick, uh, what this does is this does uh, kind of like a binary search pattern or a half split method or whatever you want to call it, um, but it's basically a tree structure. Uh, we because the inputs are numbers from two to twenty when you start out, and basically all I'm doing is I'm subtracting or adding a number um, and getting a result. And if the result is equal, that's what this is here. And then I'm going to branch whichever direction based on what the result is. So if it's if your result is negative, it's going to go up. If your result is positive, it's going to go this way. So here's our branching structure. Here's the number that we're subtracting and our net result. As you can see, this number is going to match here. And that's where we're checking our zero. Um, so this is the basic structure of how the program is put together. And to see it in uh, code, you know, it's, it's a nice big plate of spaghetti. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's ridiculous, uh, but it gets the job done and it's actually kind of fun to watch it run. So um, I will uh, scroll through this slowly at the end so that you can see how, how it's actually put together. But basically this stuff all at the beginning is simple, you know, throwing all the numbers that we need in here to start out with. Um, may or may not be able to optimize this a little bit further as far as execution speed, but I don't think it's possible. Uh, if you have been able to do it, then you know, let me know. I'd love to see the, the even more ridiculous solution. Now, I also did this with 19 if then type of statements, um, and that executed in I think 95 instructions. So that's why I tried this one, um, just to see how much more uh, ridiculous we could get. So without uh, further ado, let's watch this run. So we get our numbers initialized and then we go bump, 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 bump. <laughs> bump. That's it. And uh, <laughs> it just cruises. It's really fun to watch it. Um, <laughs> 139 out of 26, yeah. Uh, we can run it again a couple times because it's just funny. Um, but yeah, now, you know, uh, you might look at this and, and say, yeah, it's, you know, it's really ridiculous, but, you know, it depends on context. Wow, it's done already. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, uh, it's, you know, it really depends on context. Um, you know, if you're programming some, you know, office workers uh, business program that sits around waiting for user input and doesn't matter how slowly it runs um, yeah this is stupid okay and it is ridiculous but you know if you're making um, a game and this is an inner loop and you can get five times the execution speed by uh, by doing this you know 139 lines of spaghetti code uh, yeah, you'd be an idiot not to, you know. Um, so, like I said, it depends. It really depends on the context. Um, what you want to do, <laughs> you're still not going to be able to follow this even with a screenshot because uh, these, these lines all overlap. So you probably should, uh, if you do want to recreate this, you'll probably want to just use the, um, the visual over here to do it. Uh, so... Yeah, um, so these are, like I said, these are just, uh, you know, the branching instructions, and you're doing this if your number's negative, this if it's zero, and so this is your else condition, uh, whatever's left over. Um, and like I said, it's going to look like a plate of spaghetti when you're done. Um, I actually, when I was doing these, I ran out of labels. I think they only let you have 17 or 18 labels, um, because I was trying to label all this stuff. Um, to really keep uh, track of every single number so that it wasn't quite as uh, hard to keep track of and everything. But I couldn't even do that. So anyway, we'll run it once more. And um, this is the insane solution. Uh, it, it took 
I mean, it took longer to actually enter all this stuff than it did to figure it out. So, uh, if you want to, if you want to do it yourself and watch it run, then you're more than welcome to. So, thanks for watching and enjoy the game. Later. Howdy, folks. Durr, durr, durr.